Right, so this is the new yard, stroke, small holding, stroke, whatever else you want to call it. Um, as you can see, we've got glorious views. There's an area where you can stand and you can just see out to sea. Uh, got lots of old trees, old hedgerows. This here is um, the school, the riding school. It needs a bit of work due to it, um, a lot. But um, the landowner is doing bits and pieces to it. And over this side here, we have a pond. See if you can see it through there. There's a pond just down there that comes out uh, just a little bit around this corner as well. So it's uh, an extra place for the horses to fall in, have a drink and whatever. So uh, yeah, this is at the top of the hill. It is on a slope. So this is one of the flat areas. Just to my left is where we park the cars. So um, you can also drive in. But it's just easier to park the cars there. So as you can see, we've got... Um, old established hedgerows right the way around the property. And as we walk closer, you can see it's got uh, the old growth from uh, previous years worth of stuff that I don't know quite what plant it is. If anybody knows what plant this is, let us know. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know because uh, that's what all of this dry stuff is. We need to either whack it down or maybe get like a scythe or something on there and just take it all down. But yeah, basically, so uh, we were just stood up here. So we've got hedgerows all the way around. If you follow the hedgerow, right the way around and down and across and back up again. That's the whole extent of it. So uh, it's quite a large area. And you can see down there, we've got uh, two stables and a tack room. The ladies are down there doing some bits and pieces. That needed a lot of work doing to it before we could actually get in there. Uh, but that work's now been done. So we are in. And then if we walk over this way, through the jungle, make a new path, we'll be able to see that there is, underneath this big old oak tree here, an extra building. And we'll get there in just a second. Okay, so we've got this big old oak, which is part of the hedge. And you might just better see it underneath there. There's another little building. There we go. Hidden away. No water to this one, no power to this one yet. Uh, but this is where we're going to keep the chickens and the ducks and everything else like that. So we still got quite a bit of work to do in there internally. Um, we're going to put a little automatically opening door for them. We just go in, have a quick look. I've swept it out this morning, so it's, uh, it's got a gorgeous force to it down this bit. Um, but it has got like holes in the roof. You can see where I've just stored some stuff in here. Some building materials up there. The floor is just concrete, unfortunately. But yeah, what's going to happen is we're going to keep all the chickens and ducks up that end. Uh, we're going to have like a barrier across here to keep out Mr. Foxy and this bit will just be used for storage of some bits and pieces. We close that back up again. Now if we turn and walk over this way, see we're walking back towards the stables. That's where they are there. And we've got storage, which is in behind them here. Uh, attack room, two stables. This down here has just been used as a burn bin. But if we leave them, so that's been moved. If we leave them to the matter in, we go this way. This bit here is a roadway that goes to another gate which leads out to the to the road um, but as it hasn't been used in about five years it's all become overgrown so trying to get up it in our standard two-wheel drive car 
it kind of failed. Like you can see down there, that's a proper bit of road. That's not dirt. That's proper road. But uh, we just have to get it cleaned off. You can see just at the end there is where the gateway is. And then we got the horses just in this bit here. Okay, so that's the end of this one. Just a little, this is what we've got. Um, so the plans are we're going to have chickens, ducks. We're going to grow some veggies somewhere. Um, so lots and lots of work to be doing. So I hope you like. Bye bye.